So today I'm talking about a Dodge with a P1494 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Dodge P1494 code? Well, it's an EVAP leak detection pump pressure switch condition. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back into the engine to get burnt off. And the onboard computer's seen a problem inside of this. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, no why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad gas cap or inlet. It could be a bad leak detection pump, which also usually contains the vent valve and pressure sensor. There could be a leak in the system somewhere. It might be in the wiring and possibly the charcoal canister. And so the basics of what's going on inside of the EVAP system is that the gas vapors are gonna leave the gas tank. They're gonna go through a hose over to what's called the charcoal canister. And the charcoal canister is basically like storage for the gas vapors. And somewhere on or near the charcoal canister is gonna be what's called the leak detection pump. And this leak detection pump quite often also contains the vent valve and the pressure sensor. So sometimes those words can be used interchangeably. Quite often all three of these things are inside of one package that usually is located on the charcoal canister, although it can be separate. Sometimes it could be in other places. And since there can be some slight differences in what's going on inside of a Dodge EVAP system, it can be a good idea to get a diagram for your particular Dodge for the year, the model, and things like this. For example, this is a 2003 Dodge Dakota, and as you can see, leak detection pump and vent valve is gonna be inside the same package. And so basically, keep in mind, these could be combined into one package on the charcoal canister, or sometimes they could be separate. It's just gonna vary. And the gas paper is gonna leave the charcoal canister. They're gonna go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically opens when the engine's running, so the gas papers can go in and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running, so they don't escape. And so the first thing to go and check when you get this code is gonna be the gas cap. Because the gas cap is a part of the EVAP system, it needs a seal in order for the EVAP system to work properly. And so go check it out. Be sure it's not cracked, damaged, or anything like that. Be sure that seal looks like it's sealing correctly. This also includes the newer Dodges with no gas cap. Basically go and check out this inlet right here and be sure it doesn't look like it's leaking or anything like that. And so if the gas cap looks good, then the next thing to go and check out is gonna be that leak detection pump. This is a very common problem with this code. Like I said, they're usually located on the charcoal canister, which will be up around the gas tank somewhere. For example, here's a 2005 Dodge Ram and the charcoal canister is located up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. Again, it can vary, but it's usually located by the gas tank somewhere. But the next thing to do is to go check out that leak detection pump and either test it or replace it. And so if you go through, you check out the gas cap, that looks good. You tested the leak detection pump and that's good. Then it's very likely that one of these hoses that's going around everything or one of these components is causing a leak, that there's a leak going on somewhere inside the system. And so if you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they'd feed smoke into the system and wherever the smoke came out, they would know where the leak's at. There's some low cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below in the description if you need one. You can also make these up yourself. There's like some YouTube videos on how you you can make these up for like five, ten dollars. But if you've gone through and you checked out that gas cap, that leak detection pump is working properly, then the next thing to do is to go around all these hoses and all these components and check them all out to see if you can't find a leak. Because very likely at that point, there is a leak inside the system somewhere. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Dodge with the P1494 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.